Hello everybody, welcome to another TRT Q&A with me, Paolo Bricotto, and today's question comes from Sputnik, and he asks, I'm from Europe and have used Nibiru for years, but now I'm in the US and can't find it here. What should I use here? Anyone know? Okay, so as uh, many of us who are on TRT, Sputnik is using Nibiru. Now, for those of you that don't know, Nibido is just a form of testosterone used for TRT. Uh, it's a bit more of a longer lasting testosterone and usually you get sort of one injection, one shot every eight, nine to 14 weeks. It all depends on the dose and the prescription of the doctor. So he's in the USA now. He normally in Europe, he gets Nibido but now he can't seem to find it there, which I have checked uh, online and that does seem to be the case. So what can he do? So first of all, let's go through the options available to you. Now, option number one, and you'll be glad to hear that the FDA actually did license Nibido in the US. It's just under a different trade name or under a different name. So in the US, you can get a form of Nibido called Avid. Right, and I'll, I'll, I've written an article on this and I've left a link for it in the description of this video. So if you want all this information I'm giving you now in a bit more detail, just check the article uh, and the link in the description below. But basically, you have Nibido there in a form called Avid, right? Now it's almost identical to Nibido. I mean, in, in essence, it really is Nibido. It's just under a different name. Now, normally Nibido is dosed at uh, or sold as um, 1000 milligrams in four milliliters, right? But with Avid, it's 750 milligrams and in three milliliters. So in essence, you know, it's a little bit less, uh, but the dosage is exactly the same, which is about 250 milligrams per milliliter. So you're still getting the same amount of testosterone, but naturally your injections will maybe be uh, uh, slightly more frequent than Nibido because they're slightly less in the shot that you get every time. But um, if you're in the USA and you're looking to get a VED, what you do is you just check to your local doctor and you ask him to, to prescribe a VED to you. And if he's unable to do that, then you can also look online on the Avid website and find an Avid certified medical professional near you. They do have a website where you can type in your postal code and all that kind of stuff and it'll try find a Avid professional near you where you can go try and get this, right? And in essence, it's exactly like Nibido. So hopefully you have luck with that and you can get it that way. However, let's say that you can't or that for some reason you're not interested in that, it's not available, you know, whatever the reason, and you need to find another option. Well, then your second option is to use another form of testosterone. And the one that seems to be the most common, especially over in the United States, is testosterone cypionate or testosterone enanthate. Okay, and this is a bit more of a shorter uh, shorter lasting testosterone. Uh, normally you get one shot of about 80 to 200 milligrams and that's every one to two weeks. It's similar to how we dose Sustanon here in the UK, right? So the dosage is, uh, is less, but it's a lot more frequent too. And the reason I like this, uh, the advantages of using uh, testosterone cypionate or enanthate is the fact that you seem to be, get a bit more of a bang for your buck, right? You get a bit more of an optimized or optimal dose of testosterone with every injection, so you're getting a bit more oomph, right? Uh, it can be cheaper sometimes than what you pay for Nibido or for Avid, but the only downside to it is naturally that because you get it more often, you have to go for more injections. So that's just something that you, you know, have to outweigh or weigh out the pros and cons of each situation and then decide uh, how you want to proceed from there. Now, there are other forms of testosterone replacement therapy in the US available as well, such as pellets and gels. But the two main ones, considering that you're coming from a libido that you want to look at are either Avid, which is pretty much libido, or testosterone cypionate or enanthate. And you just need to chat to your doctor about the latter um, because not all doctors are open-minded about this. So again, just like in the UK, you have to find an a open-minded and experienced doctor that's experienced in TRT and this kind of stuff. Now, if you're like me and you're used to uh, using Nibido for a long time, you know, you probably get stuck in a comfort zone and you like 
things, you know, you don't want to mess with anything that works, you know, like if the beer is working well for you and you get over there, maybe you don't want to switch to something like testosterone, inanthate or cypinate. But the reason I recommend that maybe you should consider it, right? If you're happy with the way things are, then fine, leave them. But the, the reason why I would consider it is because, like I said earlier, there are a few advantages of picking uh, testosterone, inanthate or cypinate over nibido, right? And those are the ones I mentioned, like you, may, you get more bang for your buck. It might be cheaper. You may get more of a, a bigger dose you know, for your money, and you may just feel better. The other thing is because with cypionate and enanthate, the injections are more frequent, a lot of the time you can time them so that they overlap over each other, and that reduces the risk of having a crash between each injection, right? With Nibido, you sort of have a, a slow up and slow down, and you have you have sort of crashes in between, or it's, it's you don't you don't always have them, but it is common. But with the enanthate and the shorter uh, the shorter lasting testosterone, the ones that you have inject more frequently, you can kind of avoid those dips by sort of overlapping the end of each injection, just overlapping injections so that, that you don't go through those crashes that they have. So those are really your options. Uh, just to cover them again quickly, if you're looking for Nibido in the US, ask for Avid, speak to your doctor about it. If he can't help you, look on the Avid website to try to find an Avid certified professional. If you can't get that, look into testosterone, enanthate, and cypionate by speaking to your doctor or a TRT medical professional in your area. And that's it. So I hope you found that helpful. Like I said at the beginning of this video, there is an article that I wrote or a blog post that I wrote about all of this in the description below. So just follow the link for that. And if this helped you, please click the like button and share it if you think it'll help anyone else. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.